Welcome back. Imagination is a wonderful thing. Imagination has helped us create amusement parks and TV shows. But imagination is also used to write and constantly revise evolution theory. Evolution is a story about how evolutionists imagine things might have come into existence without a creator God. Let's take a look. Evolutionists describe the theory of evolution as a historical science and even as a historical narrative, which is largely based on concepts and written without using scientific laws. Let's briefly review the evolution historical narrative, the evolution story from beginning to present. As Christians, we know that everything in this summary of evolution is false because it goes against what God reveals to us in the Bible. The evolution story starts at the beginning of time, supposedly 13.81 billion years ago, when a very small point rapidly expanded, producing time, space, and energy. This is called the Big Bang. Over thousands of years, the resulting energy cooled, becoming the lightest element, hydrogen. Some of that hydrogen gas was pulled into balls under its own gravity to form stars. And some of these first generation stars were large enough to produce heavier elements like iron, which they scattered across the universe when they exploded into supernovae. Material from these exploding stars pulled together to form new stars and planets formed around them from the remaining material. Our planet Earth was formed 4.54 billion years ago, and living things came about naturally from non-living chemicals. Over billions of years, the first one-celled life forms gradually changed into all the world's plants and animals. Through a process of death and suffering, animals evolved into new kinds of animals. Ape-like creatures evolved into humans through this same process of death and suffering. The famous evolutionist Carl Sagan said in the original Cosmos TV series, we are all star stuff. He said this because evolutionists believe that material from exploding stars changed into people over billions of years all by itself. When the entire evolution story is briefly summarized like this, it sounds impossible. Even famous evolutionist Richard Dawkins calls the evolution story implausible. But it's in the Bible we learn the truth of our origins, from the one who is there, from God. God tells us the history of creation and the flood in the book of Genesis, chapters 1 through 9. Let's review some of the key points and see how they differ from the evolution story. At the beginning of time, thousands of years ago, God created time, space, and everything in the entire universe. He did this in six days of normal length, and during those six days, God created every kind of plant and animal. God made the first two people, Adam and Eve, on day six of creation week. Adam and Eve are the ancestors of every human being, including you and me. God created a perfect world. There was no suffering or death. People and animals lived in peace. They ate only plants and no meat. At first, Adam and Eve were very happy, but this changed when they turned against God. They now had evil thoughts and desires. They did sinful things. They no longer loved and trusted God as they had before. Their sin separated them from God. And we, as their descendants, inherited this rebellious nature against God. Our sin separates us from God, too. Thank God that as soon as Adam and Eve sinned, God gave his promise to send a Savior to save us. When Adam and Eve rebelled, everything changed. God cursed the earth, causing weeds to grow. The animals were also affected, and they eventually began to kill each other. Suffering and death entered the world because of the rebellion of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve's children married each other. After many generations, most people no longer cared about God. Only Noah's family still worshiped God. After warning the people for 120 years, God flooded the entire earth with water. God saved Noah's family and two of every land animal using a large ship called an ark. All people and land animals alive today descended from the people and animals aboard Noah's Ark. The evolution story differs in many ways from the true history of creation, but from the Bible we know that God created everything thousands of years ago. 
Yet the evolution story claims that God had nothing to do with how things came to be, that everything came about naturally over billions of years. From the Bible, we know that God created a world without suffering or death, and that death entered the world because of sin. But evolution claims that suffering and death existed from the beginning, and that death is a way that naturally produces new kinds of plants and animals. The evolution story is how evolutionists imagine things might have come into existence without a creator God. The evolution story is written using science alone. The use of other sources of knowledge is forbidden when writing the evolution story. Science is an attempt to explain everything through natural causes. If there were a God, that God could do miracles. And miracles are not natural causes. Therefore, a scientist must reject the possibility of miracles when using science. This works very well in creating our modern technological world. We do not take miracles into account while designing airplanes and cell phones. But the assumption of natural causes is the worst possible assumption when considering how the world came to be. The assumption of natural causes means that if something is the result of a miracle, then science will never understand its beginning. God created the universe, but science alone will never be able to discover that fact, since miracles are rejected by science. Evolutionists start with the assumption that there is no creator God. Evolution, then, is the best story they can come up with without a creator God. That's our lesson. Until the next time, God bless.